novice boxers take instruction better than the, the veterans, the know-it-alls? Uh, no, no, it's, it's, uh, it's the personality of the person you're dealing with. Some guys will take instruction as well, you know, an amateur, and other guys won't take instruction as well, even if they're the world champion. Good combination by Nazario there. Speaking of instructions, we'll give an ear to both fools. Salmon and Ray. Now you have to move in. Punch, punch. Keep right. 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 Uh, yeah, the Spanish was bing, bing, bing. Hit him. <laughs> Move right. Side to side. You understand? Yep. Bing, 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 bing. Move right. Right. He's scared of you, Pete. I need that double jab, Pete. Ray Payalillo calls uh, Nazario a real yeah. greenhorn. He's a real Ray. rookie, a real novice. So yeah, I, thought he, I thought he won that last round very convincingly, though. Know? And he's scoring again with that jab because, again, Colazzo's got that head way up in the air. Again, another left hook. I'll tell you what, Gil, Otto must have heard exactly what you said because he came out bing, 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 but backed off after that exchange in the corner. Pretty good defensive skills there. Nice move, nice move on Nazario. <laughs> it's pretty good for a novice to know how to steer away from trouble, get himself right out of there comfortably. You got that roster of names working with you as Nazario does. From his brother, Lou Del Valle, to his sister, Melissa Salvone. Her husband, Frank Salvo, cruiserweight fighter. It's 11 0 as a cruiserweight. Learn your lessons pretty quickly. Big difference in this fight is the fact that Pilato keeps that hand, head up every time he gets rid of a punch. David is up in the air again. He's got some blood on that lower lip. Good comeback by Leonardo. Good round. Good fight. some of the action here at the end of that second round. Both very busy. Watch Juan Nazario. And there you can you see that head. Lano's way up in the air. There it is up in the air again. What you do, you have a kid with that bad habit, you take a, a bear glove and tuck it, make his chin hold that bear glove against his chest that keeps his head down. Well, the headgear is off. And Loyato, as you can see, he's got a cut on that lower lip. He seems to be fighting his emotions right now. He has a feeling. Meanwhile, on the other side, you see the look of joy, the look of glee on Juan Nazario's face, and rightly so. Good fight, but says here Nazario clearly the more skilled fighter. Maybe that's something of a misnomer when you've got novices, but he definitely well, showed more skill in this in this. No fight. question. That there are novices are novices. Some novices have been in the gym a month. Others have been in the gym two years before they even get in. 
in a novice class. I know I never put a kid in the Golden Gloves unless he trained for at least a year. Pal Lillo called him a real greenhorn, and maybe he's been listening to his trainer. We're going to listen to Kevin Van Meter with guys. the decision. Bye, Bob. The winner of the men's 125-pound novice class is from the gold corner, Juan Nazario. We don't want to say it was a no-brainer, but it was pretty apparent from the uh, middle of the second round on who was going to win this fight. No question about it. Juan Nazario. 19-year-old novice, he just keeps marching on, and he is your 125-pound novice champion. Well, Lou Del Val's little brother did the family proud tonight. Should be quite a victory celebration when young Juan gets back to the Mars Park Boxing Club. More Golden Gloves action coming your way from the Pack Theater tonight at Madison Square Garden.